the worst pain I had ever experienced in my life. Hello and welcome back. My name is Melissa. I've now lost 60 pounds with the help of Torsepatide, which is a GLP-1. I'm going on my fifth month now. Before I started, I had many questions and these are the same questions that I often get asked when people find out that I am taking a GLP-1 for weight loss. I'm going to be answering the top five common questions based on my personal experience and from the research that I have done. Grab your coffee, some water, and let's answer these questions. What is tercepatide? Tercepatide is the main active ingredient in the medication Zetbound and Munjaro. I am currently taking Zetbound. Tercepatide is actually a dual GIP and GLP-1 receptor agonist. Let me explain in simple terms. It basically mimics the hormones that your body naturally releases after you eat. GLP-1 helps your brain realize that you're full. It slows digestion and it keeps your blood sugar steady. GIP helps your body make energy better and improves insulin sensitivity. Together, they help you feel fuller faster, eat small portions, and stop thinking about food 24 seven, which I talked in my previous video about the food noise. That's where the magic happens. How long did it take to actually start working? Appetite changes can start in the first one to two weeks. I felt the appetite changes within the first two days. I personally felt the food noise quieting a couple hours after I took this medication. And it's important to know that everyone's body reacts differently to this medication. Some notice changes right away, others it takes them longer. Sometimes the weight loss does feel really slow, but the research shows that real steady results usually show up after four to six weeks as your dose increases. I dropped like 13 to 15 pounds the first month, but I think it was mainly inflammation and water weight. Though the scale showed I had dropped that much weight, I didn't see it. I thought I was gonna start this medication and right away just start slimming. That didn't really happen. That's probably a good thing because if you know about rapid weight loss, with rapid weight loss comes a lot of negative effects like loose skin, muscle loss, and I didn't want any of that and I don't have much of that now. This medication, if you use it correctly and as a tool, it will help you stay consistent in your meal plan and the new habits that you will want to make. And this brings me to the next common question, what to eat on a GLP-1? Here's the thing, you will be eating smaller portions, so what you eat really matters. And this is where you use this as a tool. Start with your protein, fiber, then you add the carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, and whatever other foods you want. And lots and lots of hydration. I always have my water with me, and I make sure I add electrolytes just so I'm extra hydrated. This is where people make that mistake and then have all these negative side effects. And when you think about protein, think about whole foods, real food protein. Yes, you can add like the protein shakes, protein bars, but I would probably limit those because they have other added ingredients that your body might not react well. And we all know real food is better than fake food. I do occasionally drink protein shakes to supplement when I need to meet my protein goals. When thinking about protein, think real whole foods like eggs, if you eat dairy, cottage cheese, Greek yogurt, lean meats, chicken, turkey, lean red meats. Get your fiber from a lot of vegetables, beans, legumes. When I do feel like eating bread, I do have keto bread. Ink Keto is the brand, it's really good. That has a high fiber amount. I make sure if I do eat that, I only eat what one fiber supplements a day. I have heard horror stories of people that are trying to meet their fiber goals and they actually end up messing up their digestive system and going to the hospital and it's just awful. If you are eating high fiber supplements, you have to drink a lot of water. You have to really hydrate yourself. And it's sometimes it's hard on this medication to eat or drink so much. And I would just caution being careful not to overdo it with the fiber. But it is important to have fiber because some people do experience constipation on this medication. I'll talk about that in a little bit when I talk about side effects. There are things that you should avoid on this medication. And this is another thing why some people experience common negative side effects. Avoid fried foods. If you're going to take this medication, I just don't see you have an opportunity 
opportunity to take this medication, which is life changing to many people, myself included. Why would I stay in the same old bad habits that got me to be obese and unhealthy? If you are going to be looking into this medication and taking this medication, I truly encourage you to make good habit changes, healthy choices. Avoid the fried food. There's so much research on all the negative effects of fried foods, fast food, white sugar. But especially when you're on this medication, if you eat fried foods, they will hit your stomach hard and it can make your nausea and other side effects worse. And don't forget the hydration. One of the most important things to do on this medication. Electrolytes make hydration more effective, especially if you're eating less or feeling tired. I usually keep my meals pretty boring. Simple, one protein, one vegetable, and one carb, such as fruit or keto bread or a low-carb, high-fiber tortilla. And lots and lots of water. The next common question is, do you have to take GLP once forever? This one's a tricky one because you don't have to take it forever, but here's the honest truth. If you stop this medication before building those sustainable habits, weight regain is very common. Most people gain the weight back after stopping this medication. I personally plan on being on this medication long-term. I don't wanna say forever, but definitely long-term. I'm treating it like any other chronic condition, but I am also building habits that I can sustain. That's what's really good about this medication it hasn't been hard to stay consistent and on my meal plan for the first time it's pretty easy to be on a diet if you want to call it that this medication does help me stay consistent but it doesn't replace all the hard work that I'm doing I think it's definitely a personal question that you should really consider and discuss with your doctor or whoever is monitoring your weight loss I don't want to take the chances again on regaining the weight and I honestly feel really good on this medication I like how it really does help me stay consistent. Last question, what are the common side effects? Like I mentioned earlier, I haven't experienced major side effects, but common ones are nausea, constipation, bloating, diarrhea, and fatigue, especially in the beginning. Less common side effects include heartburn and dizziness. There are some rare side effects that are important to know, such as gallbladder issues and pancreatitis. Interestingly enough, the year after I had bariatric surgery, I did have pancreatitis and gallbladder issues, and I had to have an emergency gallbladder removal. But I'm gonna tell you that gallbladder pancreatitis pain was the worst pain I had ever experienced in my life. It was the worst experience of my life. The worst, so there's that. But with this medication, I haven't had any issues. Some of the side effects that I have experienced, especially in the beginning, was fatigue. A day or two after the shot, I was so tired. Part of that is because I wasn't eating or drinking enough because my appetite was very suppressed a couple days after the shot in the first and second month. And I didn't force myself to eat. Food is energy. So if you lack food, you lack energy. Nausea, I did not experience. If I have something that is higher in fat, I will have a little bit of nausea, but not as bad as when I was pregnant with this one. Let's see. Some experience constipation. Reasons why I, I think that I haven't experienced a lot of these side effects is because really try not to eat high fats, fried foods, sugary foods, and I make sure I stay hydrated. I add electrolytes to my drink daily. Also take magnesium, which really does help with the constipation. So I haven't really experienced constipation. Diarrhea, I do experience. I've always had digestive issues, but weirdly enough, I experienced less diarrhea. Before this medication, I had really painful chronic stomach pain and diarrhea daily. It was awful. When I do have like a loose stool, it's probably after my morning coffee or if I had a piece of bread. So here's what can help other people if you are experiencing these common side effects, make sure to stay hydrated. Dehydration will make everything worse and that's why some people end up in the hospital. Stop eating when you're full, not when you're stuffed. Be conscious of what you're eating. When you're eating, pay attention. Keep meals very simple. I mean, like I said, eat simple, boring meals.
My insurance covers my medication. Unfortunately, my health insurance does not cover weight loss medications. So I do pay out of pocket $499 a month for four vials. So I'm hoping that as more weight loss medications keep coming out, I know there's going to be several next year, the medication becomes a little more affordable. We'll see. But for me at this time, $499 is totally worth it. So those are the top common questions. Hopefully they were helpful to you. If you're on this journey too, know that you are not alone. This medication is just one piece. If you found this helpful, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment below if you have more questions. If you are on this medication, other tips that you have found helpful. I got more videos coming that make this whole journey a little less confusing and a lot more doable. Subscribe for more real talk and motivation.